Deploy this! Ah, 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 target acquired. Wait! I'm not very good at this. This is why I don't do physical things. Hey, what's up guys? Bebop Fox here with all your gaming news for today. Also, some indie news and a Kickstarter that you may want to throw your money at. First up, it looks like Hitman is going to have its Agent 47 back. David Bateson is the original voice actor who's been doing the entire series, and it was originally announced that Square Onyx said, nope, he won't be returning ever again. Well, after the internet said, what? What? You can't take our Bateson! <laughs> My Emmy now. Give it to me! Well, it seems like Square Onyx said, no, no, don't worry. You'll get back. We swear. Well, now with Hitman Absolution coming out on November 20th, whoo, Mr. Bateson, you got some talking to do. Puns. Don't you just love when everything Scott comes up? No. Next up, if you're waiting for Star Wars 1313, don't worry. There may also be another game coming out. Oh, Mr. Lucas, what are you up to this time? Milking that cow? Give him milk him. Well, now it looks like the parent company, LucasArts, has just registered a new IP called Star Wars First Assault. What kind of game could this be? Anybody's guess. But if the gaming elders are smiling upon us, it will be a new Jedi Knight game or a Battlefront game. But answer in the comments below, what kind of Star Wars game would you like them to finally make? Next up, Gears of War. It seems like they may have thrown a spanner in the works here because they're no longer working together and against each other now. No! Ah! Has anybody actually held a gun like this? This is not... Convenient. Where'd I get that from anyway? Well, we have our first gameplay footage of Gears of War Judgment, the new game in their series. Total all out free for all. We can see some hot Gears action. What? Now that sounds like a porno. Yes! Finally a porno pun. Now, while this may not be part of the main storyline, we can see once upon a time when they all fought against each other. So enjoy that. Next up, do you just hate when politics get involved with gaming? Leave us alone! We just want to play in the dark all night. Now, I'm not going to get into all the political mumbo jumbo, but Battle.net is now banned in Iran. Well, a combination of U.S. trade restrictions and economic sanctions have been in place and are preventing Blizzard from providing Battle.net to its Iranian customers. Now, an article over on Computer and Video Games, Blizzard actually lays out the exact law and how it's affecting their platform. So see, you should have paid attention in school when it came to politics because it's affecting your video gaming. Well, if you live in Iran, but it could soon affect you no matter what country you live in. Because the more and more power that government gets to do things like this and control the internet, there you go. So do you guys actually think this is right? Do you think things should be restricted like this? Where do you draw the line? Next up with Black Ops 2 coming out on November 13th, it looks like we have some special editions finally underway. Now the first limited edition is called Hardened, and it's going to include a two-sided bookcase, limited edition challenge coins, a soundtrack download, additional weapon camo, and downloaded multiplayer maps for Nuketown 2025 and Nuketown Zombies. Oh, and of course it's going to include the game itself. The second one is called Care Package and contains a hardened edition as well, but also a remote MQ-27. Dragon Fire Drone. So if you have 200 bucks laying around, you can have this giant box that resembles an actual care package in game. Oh wait, it's 180? Okay, never mind. Only that. So go out and get it. So that makes everything better. Oh, Activision, you shouldn't have. Next up. Great Scott! Looks like Christopher Lloyd has leaked out a little bit of information about a new Back to the Future. Telltale has announced, oh no wait, Christopher Lloyd has, while at a fanfare being interviewed, said that he is voiceovering for a new upcoming title. Don't know what. So what could he be working on? Who knows? Maybe it's a new game for... The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. He, he plays John Big Booty. He's not even a lead character. Maybe it's a, a game for that. Next up for your indie news. This time, you can actually play one and it's a demo. Better yet, you can buy it if you like it. This is called Mobiloid and, if you know me, I love robots. I love building them. I love putting them to the test. And this is exactly that. I maybe have broken my computer screen trying to shove money into it. Well, the indie game developer, Montrezilla, has developed this new game and it has a demo and it's a big puzzler, customizable robot game where you can make them fly, drive different ways, do all kinds of things that essentially break your robot and don't work as well. Of course, that's not the main goal though, but if you like it, hey, just try out a demo at least. Speaking of throwing money at computers, if you love Kickstarters, let's show you an awesome one. For those that enjoy medieval games, this is definitely for you. If you like raiding, sieging castles, and first First person games? Oh yeah. I present to you Calvary Medieval Warfare. The best way I can express this game is that it's like the Call of Duty of medieval fighting games. Now just in relation, yesterday I showed off another game called World of Roses. 
This one is more like a squad based battle game, much like Mountain Blade. So they definitely have their two different styles and very fun. That game is already published and you can order a pre-sale, but this game is needing money to still be developed. They have already pretty much made the game and made it beautiful, and now they just need help finishing it and distributing it. What's great about it is that you can go head to head with 32 people, oh yeah, and claim glory. You can completely control the sword and glance away and dodge blows as long as your reaction is quick enough. Best part about this is that most games on Kickstarter want hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to develop the game. These guys have been working for years on this game and they only want $50,000, which in the gaming world is not a lot. Currently, they only have a week left and they're already at $37,000, so hey, throw your money at it if you love medieval. But now congratulations to yesterday's winner who won the Brick Force gift bag that has like speakers, shirts, all kinds of awesome stuff for this really fun game. I got those at Gamescom, so if you want to win one all this week, comment below and make sure you're a subscriber. Also like the video, be awesome gamers. But if you need something to comment on, comment on the community question. If you can make any kind of video game, what kind would you make? And with that, I am Bebop Box, and I dub you awesome gamers. Thank you for the support, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow and in game.